If you're a videographer, chances are you got something like this in your bag. The lightweight, great features, easy to use, and reliable. And if you're also a videographer like me, you got limited space that you want to be lugging around in your bag. So why would you ever take this out? Well, if I found something smaller and with extra features, I'd consider swapping it out. So today, I am doing a product review on a tentacle bendable suction mount. Let's check it out. Hey, this is Wes. I am helping guys that not nerd out with the product review. You might recognize me, or better yet, my voice from their episode 260 of their podcast, one of their top episodes, I'm sure, by far so much good content. I like to think so. After this episode, go check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments. But back to the product review. So, like I said before, I am reviewing, not this one, this one. If you're a videographer, chances are you need different tripods for different jobs. You know, I have a, a Manfrotto, fantastic, big, heavy, nice, smooth head, all that stuff. But sometimes you got a camera set up or a situation that you need something smaller, something that can maybe sit on a table, maybe can mount on a, on a window or something like that. And that's where the advantage of the tentacle bendable suction mount comes in. Like it says in the name, it's got some suction mounts. But before I get to this, I just want to let you know how I do a product review. I look at three things. Three. Three things. One, two, three. Three things I like to look at. First one is the build quality. What are the materials they use? Are they quality? Number two, the features does it have? The features that it has, is it worth a spot in my bag? And the last one is, does it do what it's supposed to do? The first one is the build quality. Now, if you look at the, the tripod, it is has a thick rubber around it. I don't know if you can... See, it is a very high quality rubber. I'm not a rubber specialist, but this does feel very nice. Uh, the suction cups, very easily to stick to anything smooth like glass, smooth tabletop, smooth wood, stuff like that. Pretty obvious where you can attach to. But the nice thing about these suction cups is that they're easy to clean. So if you get any dust in there, just a little bit of soap or a little bit of water, clean them right up and also help with the suction. Uh, the build quality feels very nice. It's got a quarter uh, 20 screw in the top that you can mount another little plate depending on what, you're, what kind of camera you're using. So the build quality, I'd say, gives a thumbs up, looks good. The second one is the features, and I touched on that a little bit before, and that is the suction cup. The suction cup feature, when you go on site and you're doing a video, you, you come across different scenarios where, you know, a creative camera angle would be nice. You, when my normal tripod, the legs come out, it's pretty big, and so you're kind of limited on some of the more creative spots. Before I was using this, and I liked it, it's very valuable, I use it very regularly, but there was also limitations where if I didn't have something to attach it to, to actually wrap it around, um, I couldn't get the ideal shot, so I had to compromise. This one, I don't think I need to do that. I can mount it to a window, I can mount it pretty much anywhere. And the nice thing is that these things bend in and out, but they also rotate that way. So if you need to wrap around, uh, say a pole or something, and you make sure you get a good suction cup, or on the side of a car, some of the contour, uh, you can stick that on there as well. The other nice thing is that there are three suction cups on each arm and one in the center. And you really need just to get a couple attached to get a good hold. The camera I use the most is probably a uh, Osmo Pocket or my um, iPhone 12 Pro. I also have a Canon Mark IV that I use. It's a heavier camera. And the one thing I will say about this when I first saw it was like, oh, this would be great for mounting it on something, say like a bike helmet, where you're doing like an action shot or a, a moving shot. Why you can do that, you need a good stabilizer on this because this thing does wobble around. My son, we put it on his helmet, wrapped it around, stuck it on there. He rode his bike around. It it wobbled quite a bit as expected because he's got a his little kid with a helmet on. Um, but the camera stayed on, tripod stayed on, no issues there. A little, little rougher than I'd like, but so I really say the strength on this one is just variety of placement, non-traditional placement. So the features are nice on this. Um, the other thing is, does it do what it's supposed to? And I would say it does do what it's supposed to, you know, they, on the box, it claims you can use it for iPhone, uh, Osmo Pocket, uh, and a DSLR and tablets. So while the DSLR nice, it's a nice feature, the, my DSLR and my lenses are pretty heavy. So I would use it, but I would probably get as many suction cups as I can and not have a moving shot with that one. So it'd be a very stationary shot just for a unique angle. But chances are if I'm using that bigger camera, I'm gonna be using a different tripod. This one's gonna be more for the creative spots that I can get with my Osmo Pocket or my iPhone. Uh, the other one thing that I liked about this one is that on here, 
there's this plate here, so you can rotate it to get even more creative angles. So once you're mounted and attached to something, you can get even more your ideal shot. So the features on here are great. The build quality is great. And does it do what it's supposed to? Yeah, it does. I've tried it on, like I said, my son's helmet. I've tried it on the window. I've tried it on my countertops and it really sticks hard. It's got a good suction. It's not a cheap one. So I would recommend it. I'd say it earns a spot. It's a bag. If you got space, grab two. But you know, chances are this one will do the job of both these. So no need for this one. I recommend this one. If you did like this video, just comment, like, subscribe, show some support to the guys. The guys do a fantastic podcast that comes out every week. Really good quality, great pro tips, great tech information. You know, even if you're not a tech person, per se, we, there's tech in all our lives and we can all find value in the podcast. So if you enjoyed this video, go subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to their YouTube channel, connect with them on their social channels, and catch you next time. This is Bundable, bendable suction mount. Gosh. Uh. Ah.